All right, how's everybody doing? Tommy here, Bible believer, KJV. So, now that we're getting close to being letting loose somewhat, although I don't think we'll ever be free of the reign of the the Antichrist system is really starting to take hold. They're telling us now, you know, we can assemble, or if we can't assemble, how many people, they're telling the churches what they can do and can't do. Isn't that the way it's going to be? I mean, I've been talking about this for years, that eventually you're going to tell Christians that they can't assemble, and how many or eventually they're going to get rid of Christianity. This is one of the ways they're going to do it. Is it any wonder in an election year where the economy is doing great and one side has a weak candidate and no chance and that other side is a New World Order globalist side? Isn't it funny how when 98% of the people, 99% of the people recover from this thing, which is basically a strain, uh, an aggressive strain of the flu. When it all comes out and, and done, there'll be more people that died in 2018 of the flu than died of this. Isn't it funny that they shut down everything and now they're uh, putting this police state on us? I mean, uh, have we? Are we getting ready for the new world order? I mean, is this the beginning? Um, I believe this is a foretaste of what's to come, you know, and, and they're getting us ready. Um, you know, like I said, it's funny how, um, <laughs> you know, the swine flu in, in 2020, I mean, in 2010, it was not an election year and the progressive globalist New World Order, George Soros and the United Nations liked that president. You know, they liked that president because he was with it, you know. He was keeping um, the America unemployed, basically. The economy sucked. And, you know, um, he was building mosques. He was giving money to um, other countries. He was, he was entrenched in the globalist New World Order. And um, he's still flapping his big mouth um, today. So what does that tell you? You know, in a, in a year, in a, in a four year, and, and um, uh, Fauci, whatever his name is, he predicted in 2017 that there would be a pandemic in 2020 before the election. And oh, by the way, his company funded the Wuhan lab. In China, where this all came from. So, this is a must watch. Um, I know it's not ear tickling, you know, videos that I make, but it, it's truth that I make. And, you know, I'm, I, I'm talking from a biblical perspective the New World Order, the Antichrist, spirit of Antichrist is definitely here now. Um, the New World Order, globalist, I, you know, I don't know, I don't think we're in the tribulation. I think this is, I really believe this is a, a primer for, they're getting us ready. Um, and, I, and I believe that, um, I believe that from when, when um, Obama was president, you know. Look, look folks, in, in, in 1990, Daddy Bush gave the New World Order speech, Okay. He gave the New World Order speech, 93 Waco, where a serial rapist president told a drunk lesbian um, attorney general, a sodomite ger attorney general, Janet Reno, to murder 100 Bible believers, burn them out, and they did. People who are in, in power now, Chuck Schumer. Up Chuck Schumer was on the Waco committee rolling his eyes when, when survivors described kids screaming because of uh, the fire. This is who's in power. Don't you understand? Then you had 9-11. Um, 
and this I can't go too long with this video, but 9-11 was, um, you know, globalist. <laughs> you know, you don't think that was really, you know, what the government is telling you it was. Okay, if you want to believe that, but my eyes are wide open. And, you know, Benghazi, all the rest of it, Obama, Obama was handpicked. You know, these people in government, you know, um, AOC, the squad, all these people, they're morons. You know, they fell out of the stupid tree and hit every branch on the way down. They're scripted morons, useful idiots of the globalist. And when they're done, just like that, um, that, um, I, how dare you? You know, just like that girl. Um, I should be back in school. Well, go to school. Nobody's stopping you. You know? Oh, the, the carbon footprint, but she's on trains, uh, planes, but that's okay. That's okay, because she's important. But you can't do anything. You can't even assemble. <laughs> you get the point? Probably not. If you're watching this, um, you probably don't get it. But you need to get into the Bible. And the Bible is better than the news media. It is more accurate. And um, printed in 1611 will give you more information than your New World Order satanic news media can. So I hope this helps you. God bless. See you in the next video.